Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Trek Collector. And this time, it might be a slightly little bit longer review than five minutes, but I am going to review the famous, fantastic Dragon Wings 172 scale Saturn V rocket. Now, this thing, I'm literally in the corner of my room, I have it up nice and high, is like just over five foot tall. Yes, she is. And it is an incredible incredible model i got this for a birthday present from my beloved wife and it is absolutely super and she actually separates into the stages and we'll take a little look see and pull her apart so you guys can have a little close-up and have a look and see what you think of this fantastic model so this is the stage one of the dragon wings 172 scale pre-painted model which is absolutely huge 1.5 meters tall just over five feet and now there is inaccuracies with this um a couple of things it's down to you this is not a hundred percent accurate it's missing some of uh the ports where the umbilical arm would have attached to the rocket and um, there's a few mistakes with say the engines there wrong color and the fins should be silver and not white but if you can get over that, those little bits and pieces, I believe Cultsman TV are, are doing a pre-orders on these. You have to uh, make a payment of $100 and fulfill the rest. And they're at the pre-order stage anyway. So I think this is going to be reselling for $249 US dollars. But as I said, I paid initially €185 Euro, while my wife did for my birthday. But let's get stuck in and close. And like overall, the inaccuracies... Unless you're uber, uber fussy. Um, okay, you might have issues with it. But I think for the value, height-wise, uh, and just for a piece to display, she's absolutely fantastic. Now, there is some assembly required with this kit. I can remember having to put these engines in, uh, putting on the fins. Now, I might at some point take the fins off and actually spray them to the right colour. But again... To be honest with you, overall, I'm really happy with this kit because it sits in a display case, which another great thing is you can get the display case in IKEA for around 60 euro, which displays the ship really, really well. And if you've seen from my early photograph, I got a photograph of the launch tower and I put that in the background. So really, really cool. So like the, the case and all is not that too uh, expensive if you get the one from IKEA. And we'll just take a look at the top section of the Saturn, uh, stage one. And I'll put her up wise for you guys just to have a little look-see. But this is stage one. So overall, fairly, fairly nifty and cool. So I'm going to pause here and I'm going to go back and I'm going to get stage two for you guys to check out. So we're on to stage two of the Saturn 172 Dragon Wings uh, Saturn V kit. And again, like as I said, there is bits and pieces missing off this. Um, I'm not going to say it's 100% accurate, but overall, I actually have to say it's perfect uh, for me. I love it. Um, it's one thing that people, it stands out in, in my room and a lot of people actually ask me questions about it and so forth like that but as i said i got it back on the first release of the kit um but as as i said now i've seen one website uh cultman tv i'm nearly sure are doing pre-orders for this so there is hope that this kit is being reissued so that is very very cool so check out their website and uh, if you're interested in this now the other thing as well is maybe get onto some model suppliers uh locally and just inquire um are they getting the dragon wings uh, one back in as I said there's two versions of this there's one where it comes all pre-painted so you don't have to do any work with the paint and then there's one that you can do as a model kit so the only thing that I would say which is, is kind of a shame is that this these sections the the covers the, the protection for the, the engines don't, doesn't come off but uh, we can see our five rocket engines in there Um probably lacking a lot of detail in there but as i said i pr pretty much display this as a whole but it is kind of cool as well if you wanted to you could actually break this down into visually into our individual sections and again we're just going to have a little look see in here so we can see the actual fuel tank 
in there, which is kind of cool detail. Um, but that's stage two. So let's get on to stage three. Now, so here is our stage three, and you can actually take the top part of stage three off, but just be careful. You get a little, little bit of a pry. I've already done this. And if you wanted to, you can get the one 72 scale Apollo 10 at uh, the top section of the Saturn V and it has an actual clear part here and it has the lemon side and it has the uh, or sorry it has the eagle inside the lunar module has the lemon on the top um which you can actually display so hopefully with the, the, the reissues I'm hoping to be able to acquire the finished Apollo 10 would be the top section but I can show you that how that comes with the other part but this is stage five uh stage three and there she is and again we can see her single engine there and as i said not entirely 100 percent accurate but again i like the fuel tanks and just the way the whole thing displays oh trying to kill her there but that is stage three so let's have a look at the last part of our certain and there she is, the command module um, with the capsule there, escape tower, um, and our rocket. Um, unfortunately, the escape tower doesn't come off, I'm afraid. Um, would have been nice, but not too fussed again. Um, but nice little bit of detail here um, on this. Really, really nice. Turn around here for our engines. Um, but overall, well impressed with this one. Really, really cool. Really, really nice. Look at our little uh, thrusters there. Some great detail in here. In fairness, really, really nice. And that basically is her. But as I was saying to you about the Apollo 10, um, by Diamond, or not by Diamond, sorry by dragon dragon wings that's how the apollo 10 comes and as i said it's clear and you'll get a eagle you get a lunar module in there in that part and one side of it is transparent plastic and the other side is white so if you want to and that's what i hope to do at some point if i can get my hands on an apollo 10 please fingers crossed i will probably swap them out because i do think it's actually really really cool and a couple of guys that first got these models actually went and did that so it's really really cool but uh i'm gonna pause i'm gonna show you like as well i did get um another 172 scale which is really really cool and i'll show you that now in a second as well guys well one good thing is there she is all complete and back together and this is again another dragon wings one 72 scale command module and lunar lander which is really really cool and i basically kind of just stuck it to the top of the case which i'm really really proud of i actually really love it so again lots of detail in that one and this can actually separate you can actually take the the lunar module off and you can actually see the the command module so really really cool so that is my review Probably about 10 minutes long. And I know some of you have asked for it, especially my daughter, believe it or not. Uh, so this video is for all you guys that have asked me before about reviewing this fantastic model. And as I said, funny enough, it looks as though there's pre-orders for this. So maybe one or two of you guys will jump on board and grab yourselves one of these models. As I said, the case is from IKEA, about 60 euro and yeah, I can't complain. I think she looks great. I'm just going to have to straighten her up a little bit because she seems to be a little bit crooked since I've taken her apart. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the view. Um, take care and all the best. Stay safe.